All right, guys, welcome back to Strong Successful Mail. So for today, I'm going to do a final update to a very popular video series I started about three weeks ago titled, My Girlfriend's Family is Trying to Get Me to Marry Her Sister Because I'd Be a Great Stepdad. And guys, for those of you who didn't see that or it's been a few weeks, so I just want to do a quick recap. This is about a guy who shares his story. He's been with his girlfriend for a few years. They really have a good thing going. She's apparently really cool, loyal, supportive, hardworking, takes care of herself the whole nine yards. And so far, up until the first story, he had a good relationship with her family. However, his girlfriend, A, doesn't want to get married, or B, doesn't want to have kids. The dream come true. Eventually got out to her family that he thought was once traditional that she didn't want to have kids or get married and the mother lost it. And apparently this girl has a sister who is a stereotypical younger sister who's spoiled and turns out that she was a party girl in college, got pregnant like at 20 years old or some damn thing, and now has to be responsible for this child but is missing the old party gal days. And this guy and his girl were obviously you know, taking care of the kid on occasion when she'd go out and all that, good relationship with the kid. Well, anyhow, now that it was announced that the girl doesn't want to get married one day, all of a sudden, all of a sudden her S-L-U-T-T-Y little sister is now hitting on this dude and trying to get this guy to get with her, as is her mother, as crazy as it is. So the situation's got very ugly, and uh, at the end of the first story, he was distancing himself from her family, as the same with his girlfriend. Second update, pretty much, he found out more that was going on. They pretty much want to get that girl together with him. The girl is a bit of an effinist and is trying to claim that go for the open marriage thing so she could be with them and pretty much have him and her, who are very good with money, take care of the kid, take care of the bills, and she can be free to go off and do whatever she wants. And even her mother is now trying thinking about the idea of having open relationship. It's a big screwed up mess. And I ended this story telling this guy and his girl, because his girl apparently watched my video and enjoyed it, to get out of there. The family's garbage. They're doing nothing but bring you down. You need to get away from them because she wanted to have nothing to do with them at this point because she was betrayed completely by her mother and younger sister. And I told this guy, look, that's great. She's cool and everything. But if her family's bringing all this drama into your life and she's not doing anything to distance yourself from them and cut it off, you got to question your future with her because you do not need this. This is a men's channel and I help out guys to have a great life and drama-free life and that shit is drama. But if she's on board of cutting the family out, okay. So, rambled on enough here. We're going to go on to part three, the final update. Everything that's going on behind the scenes with the family. Response to questions that, uh, that were asked in the comments section. Because you guys have been great helping this guy out. He's appreciative. And where things stand now, wrapping this whole tale up. Okay. So he says, uh, hello SSM. It's been one hell of a week. And I think my situation has reached its hopefully final conclusion. There never seems to be a final conclusion in these stories. There's always some juicy details uh, that arise in time, but we'll see. Uh, me and my girlfriend have decided to move further away from her family in a town three hours away without telling her family, but they found out anyway. Imagine that. But good for you for getting the hell out of town. Three hours. Maybe it should be six hours. We actually just arrived at our new place and it's bigger and, and at a cheaper monthly rent than the last place that we were staying at. Great. That's awesome. Her family, or her uh, her female family members, were not happy when they found out that we moved, but at this point, we are done with them. Uh, we also have both switched to working remote so that, that we don't need to worry about our workplace commute. Uh, these gas prices here have been crazy. Sweet, man. So you're three hours away from her wacko family. You found a better place that's bigger, costs less, and you don't have to commute. You're saving a bunch of money. And I know as a frugal guy that's smart with money, you're probably looking at it like, okay, this is extra money we can put away, invest, whatever. Before I get to my latest update, let me add some more additional information just to answer some people in the comment section's questions and to clear up any misconceptions about my situation. Uh, number one, my girlfriend's dad is her stepfather. Their father came into my girlfriend's family when she was only seven years old and her sister was three. The girlfriend's dad does not have any biological children, but my girlfriend and her sister love and treat him as if he were their biological dad. So, is this interesting? Because in the previous video, the young sister, who's a piece of garbage, got the idea into her mother's head, this guy's girlfriend's mother's head, that she could do open marriage, open relationships. Okay, And this guy being the stepfather, the guy who comes in, who 
the white knight guy, it doesn't surprise me that she's treating him this way. Okay, and he could be the greatest guy in the world, but he did what a lot of guys do. I'm going to go get involved with a woman who already has kids and be the hero in the White Knight and show love me and treat me like the hero I am. Well, that's all fine and dandy until she gets bored. And then look what we got here. Uh, also, number two, I did mean uh, polyamory, not polygamy. The meanings are similar, and I didn't really... I'm, I'm not into that kind of thing, so I have limited knowledge about open relationships. All I know is that it's a bunch of BS. It is a bunch of BS. In the previous thing, he's kept saying polygamy, and I meant, I think you mean polyamory. His sister, the girl, his girlfriend's sister is trying to sell the idea of a polyamorous lifestyle. It could be her and the girlfriend and this dude, and essentially they pay all the freaking bills. That's what she was going for. Number three, my girlfriend's mom is Asian American. So while it's in their culture to put family above anything else, uh, that being said, she's also really open to the idea about dating other men. My girlfriend's dad did not know that she wants to open their relationship during the meeting, but he, did, he did find out later on the update. Number four, how does her sister know we have a lot of extra income? My girlfriend and I do live cheap, and they are, and are humble about it. We barely mention our salaries, but we like to splurge here and there, going on expensive vacations once in a blue moon, buying expensive gadgets if our old ones break, and supporting our families when they are in dire need of money. My girlfriend has also told her mom about our financial situation one time during the pandemic, and I guess her mother couldn't keep her mouth shut about what she, about as she loves to brag. Guys, I know I've said this before in previous videos. Do not go around telling people the kind of money you make. And let me tell you something right now. The more money you make and the more money you have, the more wealth you have, believe me, there are going to be people out there looking for a handout, looking for a loan, looking for this, looking for that. And if you are in the, uh, if you're the type of person that maybe you've been helped out in life before and you feel like you you, you owe the universe, you need to show your, uh, return that favor to somebody that helped you before, that's one thing. But be careful. Because I, put, I, I push you guys, I encourage you guys, do everything you can to move up in life, in your job, your business, make more money. Because the more money you have, the easier your life can be. It really can. Some people may say, oh, it's bullshit, SSM. No, it's not. Okay? The more you have, it's easier. You have more opportunities, more freedom, more choices. But there are going to be people that are going to try to mooch off you. Okay? Right here. He said it used to help family when they're in dire need of money. These guys aren't that old. But they got extra money, and who are they helping that are older than them? Why aren't the people they're helping, who are probably older, more responsible with money? Because you got a lot of people out there that are complete boneheads when it comes to money. They're irresponsible. They live beyond their means. They live for today. And that these are the ones that complain, who feel like they're owed a living. It's amazing. just want to mention that. Number five, her sister took up a major in communication arts and a minor in women's studies while in college. Imagine that. I'm not sure why that's important to the story, but I saw people wondering what her course was. She's currently working part-time as a barista in a well-known coffee shop while being a proofreader part-time as she was laid off from her job last year and hasn't found full-time work since. She hasn't found full-time work in a year. This is the era right now where unemployment is its lowest in a very long time during the Great Resignation. So you can't tell me she can't find something else better than being a fucking barista at Starbucks or wherever it is. Uh, number six, me and my girlfriend have separate finances, but we always go 50-50 on our bills. Very smart. And everything we pay for. We own our own cars, clothes, electronics. I kind of get where her sister would want to join in our relationship as we make a lot of extra income, but I do not want to take the care of the child 24-7, nor am I open to the idea of an open relationship with anyone. No kidding. That's why you don't want to have kids because you don't want to take care of a kid. It's not your responsibility. That kid is her responsibility. The problem is she doesn't want to have to take responsibility. She's the youngest, and I'm sure she didn't have to, you know? But uh, that's great, by the way. You go 50-50 in your bills, and I don't care how close you get. Keep your finances separate. you got your accounts in your name. she got her accounts in her name. Don't put any credit cards in her name. Don't you get on her credit cards, et cetera, et cetera. No joint accounts. If you ever did a joint account, it's only to pay the joint bills. But even then... You have things in your name, she has in hers. You agree on who's paying for what, that's it. Save yourself a whole lot of potential trouble. <clears throat> Seven, and lastly, yes, my girlfriend and her sister are half-sisters. Their biological fathers have never been in the, in the picture. Well, her mother's been around, hasn't she? Half-sisters. Well, that's why the loyalty is right out the door. Not that there would be a loyalty necessarily because they're sisters. He says, so my girlfriend's dad actually came to, over to visit two days after their confrontation. 
in the second uh, video, big blowout between uh, the family. His marriage might be coming to an end. He packed his bags and isn't replying to his wife or daughter. My girlfriend's mom has approached him with the idea of an open relationship and demanded that they needed to keep the marriage alive and interesting. She's demanding to this guy, remember guys, what I say earlier, he is the stepdad. He came in when this, this, this mother, this woman, already had two daughters to be the hero. And now she's making demands to save the marriage, an open relationship. What does this say about her respect for him? What does this say about her perception of him? Does he seem like a guy that's going to lay down the law and she can never ever pull it with? No. To her, I can get away whatever I want because he's a nice guy. I'm, and I'm sure he is a nice guy in the sense he's a good man, but probably easily to walk over. I, I'm being honest here. And I, I'm sorry. I, I obviously know from this guy's story is he's obviously hurt by this. And that, that's a shame. As many guys are hurt when their wives or girlfriends bring up the idea of ha getting sausage from other dudes to save the marriage. He said they argued and argued. And my girlfriend's sister even tried to convince him. So he just left and blocked them for the time being. Good. He did the best thing he can do as a man and walked the hell out. My girlfriend's dad is heartbroken now and is staying with some friends nearby. He's planning to try to reconcile with his wife and convince her to stay monogamous. Convince her? Like, tr what, you know, plead and beg? You gotta be kidding. Reason with her? Good freaking luck. That's coming from a position of weakness. Is she more like, here's the deal. You're gonna go back to the old ways and start treating me well and blah, 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 blah. Otherwise, I'm done and we're out of here. That's, that's what he should do. And sure, he can't just be end it like that, but it showed that he can walk away. It showed that he went to somebody else's place to stay. But see what happens to nice guys when you let women walk all over you? This shit. He says, divorce is not an option for him as he does not have the strength to end his happy family life. Happy family life, my ass. There's nothing happy about that. It's drama central. And his, she's disloyal and takes advantage of him, walks all over him. And I hope he hasn't let her know that divorce is not an option because then she realizes she can do whatever she wants. The mother. I tried to convince him to watch some RP content, but he thinks the RP and MG Tao are misogynistic concepts that he refuses to take part in. Okay. He may have to do a whole lot of suffering until he finally wakes up and says, maybe I should maybe open my eyes a little bit to reality. And I will say this, there are definitely dudes on YouTube that are a bit extreme. I'm more middle of the road, I think. So if he's anybody he's going to watch, he should watch me. So when he's ready, when he's suffered enough and gone through enough shit, dude, you can then uh, send him a link to my channel. Maybe I can help him out. I would love to do that. Because obviously he's a good man, doesn't deserve this shit. He's just, unfortunately, like a lot of guys out there that were fooled by being the white knight hero. Uh, he left soon afterwards. My girlfriend is disappointed in her father, but loves him at all at the same time, so she's going to keep in contact with him. Why is your girlfriend disappointed in her father for walking out? Oh, wait a second. Do you mean disappointed that he's going to... Yeah, okay, I got you. Disappointed that she's trying to re he's trying to reconcile with her mother. I got you. Okay. Uh, but my girlfriend's sister, though, has been relentless. She's been spamming calls and texts asking to just have a conversation with me about open relationships. Oh my God, she just won't stop. I told you in the previous video, man, you need to block her in all fronts. I also told you that you need to freaking get a restraining order. She won't leave you the hell alone. She is harassing you. How can you live your life and move on with her bugging you all the time? Legal action. I've already blocked her on social media and her phone number, but she's getting creative on the ways that she's trying to contact me. She's been asking mutual friends to call or text me, sending letters to my workplace and my relative's house, and even emailed my work email. She's so set at me being the father of her child that it scares me. Again, okay, she's harassing your family. She's harassing your friends. She's harassing you at work, okay? Restraining order. You got extra money, bro. You made it clear in this story to splurge on things you mentioned or new electronics or vacations. Contact a fucking attorney and get a restraining order against her. I don't know how any more clear I can be. If she gets into some legal problems, that's her problem. I don't want to hear more about her harassing you if you're not willing to take action, bro. I'm serious. She's actually tried to leave her son at our door the past two weeks. Every time she comes by, she always cries or screams that she has an important business meeting to attend to, but we all know it's a bunch of BS since she's a barista. I'm assuming this is your old apartment. According to one of our mutual friends, my girlfriend's sister has been 
uh, craving to go out and party again, but can since she has no one to watch her child for long periods of time. Why, while I do feel bad for her son, I can't condone her actions anymore. She's dying to go party, dying to get some sausage. Grow the hell up. This poor kid. You know, I mean, you obviously got close to the kid and you like him a lot and everything like that. He's your nephew. Well, he's your girlfriend's nephew. And he, the way he's going to be raised is sad. But at the end of the day, it's not your problem. She is a freaking wacko. He says, it's like when your commentator said, single MOMs aren't looking for love. They are looking for help. Correct. When I first got to know her family, they were sweet, respectful, and sane. But now, because of this open relationship BS, their family has been fractured. It's sad, really. I really enjoy spending time with her family, but then this whole situation happened, and now everyone is miserable. This is why I talk about the open relationship, open marriage thing so often, guys. Some of you guys may wonder, SSM, why do you keep bringing this up? Why do you keep doing these videos? Because it's becoming more and more common for people to think it's a good idea. And I've seen the what it does through these stories to different families. You know, it's a shame. He says, in just a span of three weeks, this has happened, blah, blah, blah. Me and my girlfriend don't talk to any of her family anymore. Her sister is now an overworked single mom, and her parents might be on the verge of separation. Well, her parents should separate. I, I really wish her dad would get past that witch. And I don't feel bad for the younger sister at all. So now here's where the major drama comes in. Oh, I thought we were finished. Me and my girlfriend moved out at, at the end of the talk with her family. Again, we have a lot of extra money saved up, and our lease was coming to an end this May. So we just advanced the payments and started the moving process. We already had a couple of places that we were looking for, but had a friend who had connections to set us up with this sweet new crib. Cool. Again, the one that's bigger, cheaper, and a better deal. When her mother and sister found out, probably from their dad, and they were pissed and that we were just running away from the family. Running away? You were... Yeah, as fast as you... Actually, that's what you were doing. And you know what? It was a good thing. You were uh, cutting them out of your life. And why is his dad telling them? Again. My girlfriend always been... Uh, my girlfriend's always been against moving away from her family since she loved their company so much. But after this whole mess, she's finally agreed to move further away from them. Good for your girlfriend. I think your girlfriend is well aware that if you this shit continues impacting your life, you could be out of her life. So she's going to have to question, who's more important, my wacko family who's betrayed me, or you, who's been awesome to her? We shall see. Says here, uh, her sister especially has been uh, obviously upset by this, since she's been posting on social media that her son has been abandoned <laughs> by her father figure and favorite aunt. It never ceases to amaze me how people have to post all their problems in the world and look for pity and attention on social media. Grow the fuck up. The worst part is we found out all these things from our friends, but thankfully they all, all support our decision. Good. Because if any of your friends gave you a hard time about it and fell for her BS, I would cut them off too. Overall, I'm glad we moved further away. I want to thank you and your viewers for all the support. I... Uh, and have a, I have, a, have a great day, SSM. Also, no, I don't think there'll be any final, final updates. Ha ha. All right, man. Like I said, restraining order against that crazy sister. I'm not fucking kidding, okay? She has crossed the line trying to harass you through your family and friends and now your work. Okay, do you want to potentially lose your job over her? You said you got extra money? Okay, invest it in an attorney to get a restraining order against her. Okay, I, again, I'm not an attorney, but I'm sure something can be done. All right? But anyhow... Cut these people out of your life. They're freaking wackos. I feel bad for the dad, but then again, he's brought a lot of this shit on himself. Hopefully one day when he's ready, he'll look for some help and you can send him a link to my channel and maybe I can help him out. But anyhow, guys, there you go. That's the story there. And the point of this whole thing is this, is that you can't let family bring all sorts of turmoil in your life, whether it's your own family or for you guys have a girlfriend or wife, her family. And if she is unwilling to do anything about that family bringing turmoil into your life, it is time to walk away from her. As I said before, this is a men's channel. I'm about taking care of the guys. I'm, about, I, I'm, I'm all for helping out the gals that support us, but this is a men's channel. So guys, you don't need this shit in your life. Life is too short. You could, you could tomorrow get hit by a bus and it's over. You want to spend the rest of your life miserable being sucked into a bunch of family shit just because you feel bad or some loyalty thing that for people that don't aren't loyal to you. 
It's an important thing to think about. And I get everybody's culture is a little different and everything, but I've just lived long enough to understand these types of things. All right, guys, that is it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. Any lawyers in the audience, please share your two cents with this guy about what can be done or any plea, any law enforcement that can be done about the younger sister. Let this guy know. He will read every fucking comment, so help him out. And be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.